We have an update tonight on a story we first told you about last week when a college student almost moved into a Boulevard 63 apartment under unlivable conditions. That is when she turned to CBS 8. Since then, we have been working for you on this story to get some answers and find out who's accountable here. CBS 8's Ariana Cohen shares the very latest. Just a few days ago, CBS 8 showed you this story of a San Diego Mesa college student planning to move into an off-campus apartment at Boulevard 63. But on move-in day, Kaylee Hertzberger was shocked to see greasy appliances, stained carpets, and bugs inside the apartment. Dead bugs embedded in the carpet, like it was a complete wreck. It was appalling. It was in a terrible condition. It was just filthy. It was disgusting. It was not ready for moving. CBS 8's Abby Alford called and emailed the managers of the apartment complex. She also went to the leasing office and spoke with Tenants United. CBS 8 even found a few small claims filed against Boulevard 63's parent company. Since the CBS 8 story aired, we have some good news to share. Boulevard 63 is terminating Kaylee's lease. They sent her this email writing they will be giving her a full refund of her department deposit of $1,100 within 21 days, excluding her $40 to $45 application fee. I'm just grateful that because of this opportunity, I was able to get out of my lease and hopefully be getting my money back as well for a place that I never was able to move into in the first place. I just think this opportunity really helped me and a lot of other people. I am incredibly grateful. I didn't have the power or resources to get done what needed to be done. I appreciate your guys' help. Kaylee is currently searching for a new place to live. She says viewers who saw the CBS 8 story reached out and offered a room for rent in a house closer to campus. Right now I'm just in the process of trying to find where I need to live and that's affordable in my budget and not a scam. I, I'm praying it's gonna be a good fit. I'm so thankful that she's not there that she's not at Boulevard 63. CBS 8 has received more complaints about students' living situations at Boulevard 63. Kaylee's mother says she is going to try to help anyone she can. But I don't think that my work is done. I feel like, you know, we need to protect future students. From what happened to my daughter at Boulevard 63, it needs to not happen again. No one should have had to gone through this in the first place. Boulevard 63 sent CBS 8 a statement. You can read the full statement on CBS8.com. Ariana Cohen, CBS 8. We are so happy for Kaylee. Thanks, Ariana, for that update. And don't forget, here at CBS 8, we are working for you. If there's an issue you'd like us to look into, email us. That email address right there on your screen, workingforyou at CBS8.com.